Imagine this. It's a quiet night on Earth. Stars glitter above, cities hum with life, and humanity goes about its business completely unaware that, far beyond the edge of our solar system, a monster is silently approaching. A black hole, an object so dense that not even light can escape, is on a collision course with our cosmic neighborhood. You wouldn't see it coming. There would be no warning lights, no ominous glow in the sky, just darkness. And when it finally reveals itself, it might already be too late. Today we'll explore what would happen if a black hole passed near Earth, how we might detect it, the terrifying chain of events it would trigger, and whether humanity could possibly survive. Black holes are the most mysterious objects in the universe. They form when a massive star, at least 20 times heavier than our sun, reaches the end of its life and collapses under its own gravity. To put this into perspective, imagine squeezing Mount Everest into a grain of sand. That's still less dense than a black hole. The closest known black hole to Earth is called Gaia B H1, located about 1,560 light years away. That's incredibly far, so far that it poses no threat. But black holes don't have to be close to be dangerous. Even a stellar mass black hole, about five to 10 times the mass of our sun, could wreak havoc if it wandered too close to our solar system. And there are even more terrifying types. Supermassive black holes, millions or billions of times heavier than our sun, lurking at the centers of galaxies, like Sagittarius A star at the center of the Milky Way. Luckily, those giants are far away, for now. But what if, somewhere in the darkness, a rogue black hole was heading straight for us? The first warning would come not from telescopes, but from math. Astronomers track the movements of stars and planets with incredible precision. If a black hole entered the outskirts of our solar system, its gravity would begin subtly disturbing the orbits of distant objects like Neptune, Pluto, and even comets in the Oort cloud. At first, these changes would be tiny, so small they could be mistaken for measurement errors. But soon, anomalies would grow too large to ignore. Comets would start falling toward the inner solar system at unusual rates. Space probes like Voyager 1 might suddenly veer off course. Using this data, scientists would realize the terrifying truth. Something massive, invisible, with no light, no heat, no reflection, was approaching. The only candidate? A black hole. And by the time we'd confirmed it, the black hole could already be less than a light year away, practically at our doorstep, on a cosmic scale. As the black hole drew closer, its gravitational influence would become undeniable. Planets wouldn't immediately be torn apart, but their orbits would slowly stretch and distort. For Earth, the first effects might seem almost harmless. The length of our year could change slightly as the black hole's gravity tugs on our orbit. Tides would grow stronger and more unpredictable as the moon and sun's gravitational balance shifted. Satellites could malfunction due to unexpected orbital drifts. But soon, the skies would give away the danger. As light bent around the approaching black hole, distant stars would appear warped like reflections in rippling water, a phenomenon called gravitational lensing. To the naked eye, it might look like the stars themselves were dancing strangely. And then, you'd notice something even more terrifying, a patch of pure blackness, a spot in the sky where no stars were visible at all. That would be the black hole, an object literally erasing light from existence. Even at this stage, humanity would have no way to stop it. We could only watch and prepare for the inevitable. The real nightmare begins when the black hole enters the inner solar system. Depending on its size and exact trajectory, there are two main scenarios. Scenario one, it passes nearby without direct collision. If the black hole doesn't hit Earth directly but passes close, say within a few million kilometers, its gravity would completely destabilize the solar system. Planets could be flung into deep space, ripped away from the sun forever. The sun itself might wobble or shift slightly, disrupting its balance and potentially altering its energy output. Asteroids from the asteroid belt could be hurled toward Earth in massive bombardments. Even without a direct hit, Earth might be pulled into a wildly different orbit. If we drift closer to the sun, temperatures could skyrocket, boiling oceans and triggering runaway greenhouse effects. 
If we drift farther away, the planet would plunge into a permanent ice age, freezing almost all life. Scenario 2. Direct Impact If the black hole came too close, within just tens of thousands of kilometers, there would be no escape. Earth would be torn apart by tidal forces, the same phenomenon that causes ocean tides, but on a scale beyond imagination. The side of Earth facing the black hole would experience a stronger pull than the far side, literally stretching the planet. Mountains would collapse, oceans would rise into space, and the crust would shatter. Eventually, Earth would be shredded into a glowing ring of debris spiraling into the black hole, just like the accretion disks we see around black holes in deep space. From start to finish, this destruction could take only a few hours. To understand just how powerful this is, a black hole's gravity is so intense that if you got within a few hundred kilometers of its event horizon, you'd have to travel faster than light to escape. Nothing, not even photons, can do that. Even a small black hole, only a few kilometers wide, could weigh as much as our entire sun. At those densities, it's not just an object, it's a cosmic engine of destruction. If Earth were completely destroyed, what would remain? From a human perspective, nothing. But from the universe's perspective, everything is recycled. The debris from our planet would form a temporary accretion disk around the black hole, heating up to millions of degrees and releasing powerful X-rays. Eventually, all matter would spiral inward and vanish beyond the event horizon. The solar system as we know it would cease to exist. Only the black hole would remain, silently drifting onward through the galaxy, carrying the atoms that once formed Earth, its oceans, and its people. But what if humanity had enough warning? Could we escape? If the black hole's approach were detected centuries in advance, perhaps we could build massive spacefaring ships, or even terraform distant moons like Titan or Europa as emergency refugees. But realistically, our current technology isn't even close. Even escaping the solar system with a small crew would be a monumental challenge. For now, we are trapped on this tiny blue dot, hoping no rogue black hole crosses our path. Here's the good news. The odds of this happening are incredibly small. Rogue black holes do exist, but space is unimaginably vast. Even if there are 100 million black holes in the Milky Way, the chance of one passing close to Earth in the next million years is virtually zero. Still, the possibility remains. A silent reminder of just how fragile life is on our pale blue dot. If a black hole ever does approach, we won't see it coming until it's almost here. And when it arrives, there will be no battles, no heroic last stand, just the quiet pull of gravity and then darkness. So tonight, when you look up at the stars, remember, somewhere out there, among the twinkling lights, might lurk an invisible monster. And we can only hope it keeps drifting far, far away from home.